Hi, I'm Lana Popham. I'm the MLA for Saanich South and I'm also the province's agriculture minister. Really happy to be sharing a story with you this evening. So you won't find this book uh, on any shelf because I wrote it myself and um, did that years ago for my son. Uh, and over the years we had a lot of fun with this story. So it's called uh, The Bubblegum Dream. Sam had a lot to be excited about on this sunny Friday afternoon. His friends were coming over for a sleepover to celebrate his eighth birthday. He had invited Connor, Sean, Aiden, Blake, Jack, Jason, and Marcus. Eight friends celebrating eight years. He knew that it wasn't really going to be a sleepover. It was going to be more like a stay up over and he wanted to get started. Everyone began to arrive at 6 p.m. and every time there was a knock on the door, George the Yellow Lab would bark and run around greeting everyone with dog kisses and tail wags. <clears throat> it was decided that they would begin the birthday party with dinner. Sam wanted pizza for his sleepover, so they ordered it from their local pizza place. They had many toppings to choose from, but of course everybody mostly just wanted cheese. The pizzas arrived and they all sat and ate in the backyard. George the dog stayed very close to the boys. He kept making the rounds to see if he could scrounge any crusts or abandon slices. He was like a vacuum cleaner and he hoovered up every single piece of food that dropped onto the ground. Dinner ended and they spent the rest of the night playing, laughing and talking. It was a fantastic birthday so far. Eventually it was time for bed and Sam and his friends were going to sleep in a cabin behind the house. The cabin was very tall and it was filled with a bunk bed that was eight beds high. Everybody had a spot. When everyone was settled in, the storytelling began. Some stories were funny, some were scary, and some just didn't make sense at all. But a couple hours were filled with chatter and laughter until finally snoring could be heard. Sam was the last to drift off to sleep and he was as happy as a clam. Suddenly, Sam awoke with a start. A flyer had been delivered with a thump to the cabin. It was an advertisement for a once a year tour of the town's bubblegum factory. He couldn't believe his luck. Not only was it his birthday, but his birthday landed on the only day of the year that the bubblegum factory was open to the public. He had heard about the factory, but he had never seen it up close. He noticed there was a message written in large red print all over the flyer, no dogs allowed. Hmm, thought Sam, no dogs allowed? That just wouldn't do. He and Yellow Lab George did everything together. He woke up his friends and started to hatch a plan. The boys decided that they would disguise George as another boy so they could get him into the bubblegum factory. They organized a large pair of blue jeans, a loose gray t-shirt, and an oversized ball cap. <clears throat> it took a while to get George dressed because of all the wiggling and licking, but finally he was ready to go. The boys took off and headed to the factory. Once there, they stood at the gate waiting to be let in by the security guard. They were nervous because they didn't want George to get discovered and they knew they were breaking the rules. Finally, it was their turn. The boys explained to the security guard that it was Sam's birthday and they were there to celebrate with a tour. The guard was happy for the boys and let them in, but only after a strict warning that there were no dogs allowed. The boys and George walked through the gate along the path to enter into the factory. They were all a little bit nervous because they all knew they were breaking the rules. They made it to the front door of the factory, opened it and stepped in. What they saw and smelled was absolutely amazing. First off, the factory was gigantic. It was a huge room filled with oversized sets of false teeth. Around each enormous set of teeth were bags of ingredients to make different flavors of gum. There was grape flavor for grape gum, raspberry flavor for raspberry gum, cranberry flavor for cranberry gum, bubble gum flavor for bubble gum, hazelnut flavor for hazelnut gum, and kale flavor 
for kale gum? Sam wondered who liked kale flavored gum, except maybe his mom. The kids watched in awe as the factory started up and things began to happen. Sugar was being poured into the large sets of false teeth. Flavors were being added. Warm gum base made of beeswax was put into the mix. And then all at once, the sets of teeth began to chew. They began to chew and mix up all the ingredients. The teeth began slowly and then started to get faster and faster. And when the gum was ready, it would get tossed up into the air across the factory and land in a wrapping station where it would get wrapped up and ready for sale. Teeth were clattering everywhere. Gum was flying across the giant room. There was every color and every flavor imaginable. And some you wouldn't even have thought of, like oyster flavored gum. Suddenly, Sam caught George the Yellow Lab out of the corner of his eye. He saw that George was starting to get very wiggly and wagging his tail like crazy. One of George's most favorite things to do was to catch things in the air, like balls, and unfortunately, maybe bubble gum. Before Sam could stop him, George leaped as high as he could with the jeans and the t-shirt and that hat being left behind. All that could be seen was a big yellow dog leaping across the factory floor, catching a huge piece of grape bubble gum and landing in the wrapping station where he immediately got wrapped up into a gum wrapper with the purple gum. That definitely caught the security guard's attention and they started running around the factory shouting, no dogs allowed, no dogs allowed. Sam and his pals went as fast as they could to capture George the dog. They managed to unwrap him, get the gum out of his mouth and run to the nearest exit. They didn't stop until they got back to the cabin. Sam opened his eyes and found that he was still in his bed and all of his pals were still asleep, stacked up in their cozy bunk beds. George the dog was also fast asleep with his toes stretched out right under, uh, under Sam's nose. Sam was confused for a moment, but then realized that it must have been a dream. His friends started to wake up and it turned out that they all had the same dream. The next thing they knew, they were being called into the house to have a pancake breakfast. Everybody got out of bed quickly, got dressed and went straight into the house. Inside, the pancakes were stacked very high. There was lots of butter, maple syrup and fresh British Columbia berries. A perfect birthday breakfast. Sam's mom announced that there were some special activities planned for the day. And this included a very unique opportunity, a tour of the town's bubblegum factory. All at once, Sam and his pals yelled, no, but under the table, yellow lab George was wagging his tail. Thank you, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it.